Hey. Hey. Thought you'd be asleep. I can't sleep without you. I should. Good. You first. Not as good as new, but the best I could do. I never should have asked you to tear up a letter to Jessica. It was a million years ago. And it was stupid of me to make a big deal out of it. And I'm sorry. Please. Do Perfectly healthy. I told you. Are you sure? I mean, with the operation and... Well, fortunately, she's healed from that. She's fine. Probably needs to get home to get to bed. Yeah, I'm sorry to bug you. Yeah. Well, he's, a new, he's a new dad. Well, it's always good to be sure. Fish, Kyle. Hey. Who is this? Um, Sierra Rose. It's my daughter. And I saw the test for the first time today. So when you were talking about kids before, you weren't thinking adoption. You meant this. Her. <laughs> yeah. My daughter. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. You're surprised. Yeah, it's just... No, listen, yeah. don't worry. I'm the same way. It's like every time I say it, my daughter... Wait till you take her home to Chris and Layla. Let's forget about this. I'm so sorry. Babe, it's over, okay? I can't believe I did that like I was in high school again. Look, this whole thing with Jessica, it's been a lot to handle. But that letter... It was so sweet, Christian. Sweet? There's a reason to tear it up. No, seriously. It was young love. What a great guy you were. No, well, too bad I turned into that other guy. Who's that? The one that walked out on you when you were upset. Look, Leila, I'm here for you, okay? There's nothing to worry about. <laughs> I don't like fighting with you anymore. Yeah? But we're so good at it. If we miss it, let's take boxing at the gym. Not this. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Where'd you go? What? When you left? The diner. I, um, I, I went to get something to eat. Long dinner. Did you tell your mom what a lousy girlfriend I am? Um, no. No, I wouldn't do that. And, um, my mom wasn't there. Actually, uh, um, I was with Jessica. Jess. Yeah, how Marty's doing. Good luck with all that. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thanks, Jeff. Is he ready to go? Yeah, right. All right, car's in the slot. You're not moving. No, I'm not. I don't, I don't have any equipment, Kyle. There's a lot, right, for a baby, and we, we have nothing. We have a baby carrier. <laughs> Thank you, Crazy Allison. Yeah, we'll get the rest. Yeah. Oliver? It's not just the stuff. I mean, most people have, like, nine months to get ready for this. It's not even one day. Good luck. She's already in love with you. You know, and you got plenty of people to help. I'm here. <laughs> what do you know about babies? I know that they need food, love, and clean diapers. We can learn the rest from other parents. I don't know any I can ask, do you? Well, there's Roxy. You hung out with Jessica all night? Not all night. Look, she was at the diner. Her ride ditched her at night, so I made sure she got home. And the other two hours? Well, she was asking me some questions about homework. And then Natalie showed up, so I caught up with her for a bit. You helped her with homework. <laughs> Please don't get mad about this. Do it was you, nothing. Do you get why this bothers me? OK. Yes, I, I do get it. But there's nothing to worry about. Please. Really. Wait a minute. Didn't you just say to No, about didn't you just say why it wasn't cool It to was nothing. If that's what you think, then we have a real problem. Hey, guys. Keep it down, we're trying to get the baby to sleep. Hey! Look at her, him. It's her. Oliver, what are you doing with the baby? <laughs> Funny, he was wondering the same thing. 
Yeah, it was the night before I came out to you guys. Sleeping with Stacy really just put me over the edge. I thought it was the lowest point in my life. Yeah, but look what it gave you. Yeah. Oliver, congratulations. You, you always wanted a family, right? That's what you told me. Well, yeah, but I didn't think it would happen this quickly. <laughs> Oliver, it's a, it's a surprise to most people. I mean, even if you planned it, how, how could you be ready for a baby? Look at her. Girl, we are going to have a baby shower for you. What does she, what does she need? Um, I, I don't even know. Everything? Then we'll have it soon. We'll invite everyone from the station, and we should invite your parents. Which yeah, they don't know about the baby yet. Hardly anybody knows. I'm not really sure that I'm ready for my parents. I just, I wish I knew that they'd be into it. I, I really want Sierra to have my parents. There she is. <laughs> Is my girl. Look at you. We're just talking about you. That's what I like to hear. Can I? Yeah, sure. <laughs> We're definitely gonna need help raising Sierra. Well, you got that covered. Hey there, sweet cheeks. You are a sight for sore eyes. How'd you find out about the baby? Oh, Allison told me. How did, how did Allison know? Oh, that whack job is known from the beginning. <laughs> how could Allison know that Oliver was Sierra's father? Um, I don't know. Stacy must have told her. Huh? But Stacy couldn't have known without the DNA test. You had a test? Um, yeah, that's how I found out. But trust me, Stacy and Kim knew it was you. I, I guess they were waiting to use it at the right time. Well, never. Well, I mean, I, I, I guess if they let Scarlett think that baby's his forever, as long as he keeps his mouth shut, Stacy gets out of the plan, apparently. Here. Right. I gotta go. Roxy, what's going on? Nothing. Okay, you can't fool me. Not in time, okay? Roxy, you're crying. Talk to me. Yeah, well, newborn babies always do that to me. Toughest I'm very happy for. You cannot believe the day that this kid had. I can't believe she's here and mine. For what it's worth, I think you should tell your parents. You'll get an answer one way or another. She's right. At least you know for sure. You guys want me to contact my parents after what they put you through? They're your parents, Oliver. Their babies change things. Yeah, well, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves anyway. There's still a lot we got to get straight first. Like what? Well, I don't even have legal custody of Sierra yet. Then Skyler's listed as her father on the birth certificate. That's a technicality now. I'm, I'm sure that can change with the DNA test. Yeah, but there's still a custody fight going on. Skyler doesn't have the... Well, well what about Gigi Moresco? If she still wants custody, are you going to fight her for it? I have no idea what will happen with Gigi. I don't even think she knows I'm the father yet. She'll do. Yeah, you don't know that. Yeah, I do. Okay, you're both single parents. You both love Sierra. You both want what's best for her. Look, look. You figure it out. Look at that thing that she does with her hand over her eyes. It's like she needs to stretch out and sleep, right? Yeah. Maybe we should make her a bed. Uh, I don't even have pajamas yet. Oliver, she does not care what she sleeps in. Yeah, well, she's gonna need a diaper. Hey, you guys figure out the bed, and I'll go out for supplies. Don't worry about it. Really? Yeah, no problem. Hey, yeah, here's, uh, here's a list of uh, things we put together that we need, and um, we can use this to uh, get all the supplies. Okay. See you later. I'll drive. Thank you, guys. I'll drive you. You don't have to come. I think we can use the time. Um, no, it's okay. I'm not mad anymore. Right. Look, all I want to do is get the stuff for the baby. That's all I can handle tonight. What if you're wrong about Gigi? Hey, she was ready to fight Skylar all the way for this baby. Hey, well, everything's changed now. Yeah, not for her. Oh, Just don't borrow trouble, okay? Yeah, but what if... Uh, what if no ifs, okay? Just let it go for now. You know what? I can't. Okay, fine. You want to you wanna know what Gigi's going to do? Ask her. Call her up, invite her over, and you can duke it out. 